Okay, guys, I think that uh, Christmas came early, or maybe it was in honor of my birthday, but uh, World of Tanks uh, did something nice for uh, people who like a agile, fast, and maneuverable uh, light tank, and it's also a premium tank. So I'm grateful to uh, those guys for producing this vehicle. Uh, the, the one flaw... Uh, for me is that its its reload is no better than around 4.3 or 4.4 seconds depending on how you set up the crew and my playstyle is more suited to uh, a clip and attacking at the right moment and emptying the whole clip in in a few seconds into a uh, unfortunate opponent uh, you can't do that with this tank uh, but on the other hand uh, its uh, agility and uh, flexibility, um, I'm not going to say are truly awesome, but they're, they're pretty good uh, for uh, World of Tanks at this stage in its development, so I'm happy they introduced this vehicle, and I'll show you right away what I'm talking about. So I'm going to hit the space bar here, and get the free camera on, and avoid running into my platoon mate here. So, uh, d just ahead there, there's a little ridge. Uh, you used to be able to climb this ridge and spot early, but now you have to veer off to the left. Now watch uh, how the vehicle maintains speed, climbing and turning it simultaneously. Like I'm back up to, to 60 kilometers an hour right there. So that's pretty good, I mean, considering, uh, you know, the characteristics of other vehicles these days. Uh, it's pretty nice, and I've got uh, I've got it set up with the governor and the lend lease oil, which gives me uh, 39 horsepower per ton, which also is awesome. So uh, these maneuvers I'm doing here are to throw off arty fire. Uh, you know, I'm pretty unusual in this game. I blame myself when I get hit by arty. If you if you drive intelligently, uh, most of the time you can avoid getting hit, uh, except at the end of this battle, and I'll show you that. So. I don't want to go over there because I might have trouble escaping. So there, I'm ducking down again and, and not losing speed. And my platoon mate there is set up to shoot that Scorpion G in a few seconds, so I'll show you that. And I just saw... Well, yeah, I did see, see that guy. So he, he's probably got six cents, and it looks like he's changing his mind about going up there. A uh, good move, probably, because I'm platoon with Artie. So Jim's going to hit that scorpion. And I'm still doing my violent maneuvers here to uh, not get hit by Artie. You just... And I want to I wanna shoot that LT over there, but I'm not going over there, like I said. And this is what I call humping the hillside. Uh, this is deliberate. Once again, I don't know if that... Uh, they still got three Arties. We, we do, too. I think. One, two, three. Yep. Now, there's a problem uh, developing on the other flank, right? I'm, I'm trying to stay in the middle here because I can. that means I can go either way, right? I can go to left or right. And I just drew a little arrow on the screen. So, you know, you can throw this tank around like a sports car, which is my favorite thing. So I'll wa you can watch what I do here. And I'm seen. So watch this violent turn and not losing much speed. I'm still going pretty, you know, mid 50s. Awesome. Got a rock for protection. So Jim is, is breaking contact there. Uh, we, we made a little mistake here. Uh, he probably should have got much further away, right? Over where the Ferdy is. Completely break contact. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit here. Now this this open area this is an awesome defensive position because you have just enough room to basically uh, scare them off, especially platoon with Artie, right? So we'll watch that. Yeah, Jim's getting uh, hurt there. So you'll see the spawning damage is piling up a little bit here. And uh, we just got, had a stroke of luck there. The FV4202, which had about 80% of his HP left, he drowned. Bad for him. 
and we've lost an Artie, and we've lost, uh, you know, some good players. Uh, but this is totally salvageable, in my opinion. You know, it's it all has to do with which side is a little more coordinated. Now, I didn't see the Karn. The uh, 1:30 p.m. saw the Karn, and Yolo just hit that Schwartz. Now, this is a mistake by by that guy there. Um, he's going to get pincered. Uh, you know, I think he could have held his position, and it would have been better. But it didn't cost us the game. So he's got a 1:30 uh, p.m. coming behind him, which uh, you know I don't like going up there because uh, I, I'm too close. And watch, I get I get tapped. No damage. So, and here's another thing where you know my number one thing in a situation like this is is to, to disengage. So watch how I disengage here. So I hit the Schwartz Panzer. Then maneuver violently, get as far away as possible. You know, a, a vehicle with with uh, you know limited gunpower here is uh, not able to brawl at close range, right? You know, I'll, I'll take the consequences of those vehicle characteristics any day, especially on open maps where you can uh, break contact easily. Okay, the Tiger II, you know, the, it's in, unfortunate for the enemy here. The Tiger II is uh, launching a unsupported attack here. Uh, you know, he should show some patience. Actually, you know, uh, uh, in this situation, I think they should be playing defense. But they didn't, so that was good for us. And we got a full health Ferdy in reserve here, which is always awesome. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys, this is a scouting, um, not a trick, but it's just a correct procedure. So I keep the tiger lit. Then I go over to the other side to get, uh, relight the 65T. Now my buddy there uh, who got pincered two times. Not good. So I'm trying to relight the 65T. And now I can go uh, have a little fun with the tiger, even though it's probably not a good idea. And I'll show you why. Now I just got more spotting damage from the relight. And I kill the, the Tiger too. Then I get hit by Artie. And there, I got all the spotting damage because I lit those guys. Um, yeah, because I lit those guys before I came down here, right? You always do that. Now, watch. There's a second Artie shell right in front of me here. But it doesn't matter because uh, they lost those two guys. Uncoordinated attack. Uh you know, uh, that's one of the frustrations of public matches is uh, trying to keep your team uh, working together. And in this case, uh, I had an arty backing me up, which I always uh, want to have. And uh, they attacked, and it wasn't a good idea. And, you know, uh, I wouldn't say that that it was too much of a mismatch, uh, I think the teams were reasonably well balanced, but uh, we benefited from playing defense, and uh, it's always nice when that happens to your team, and I've been on the other side many, many times, obviously. So it's game over, and uh, this uh, this tank, uh, there's no doubt I really like it, except for uh, the inability to do a whole bunch of damage in a short space of time when when that's appropriate. you got to just deal with that deficiency and uh, on on the open map so far uh, I think this tank is fantastic and uh, its turning ability and acceleration are awesome so uh, it's game over and I hope you enjoyed the video